My name is Roseanne Di Maria Galili. I'm a professor of nursing and senior associate dean for research here in the College of Nursing and Health Professions. I started out as a staff nurse working in the ICU way back when. Uh, and uh, we worked in a teaching hospital, so there were always a lot of talks about research, uh, residents doing research, uh, medical students and, and physicians. And uh, I started to learn more about the role that nurses can play in research and not just assisting people with their research, but leading research. I became interested in research because I worked in the ICU and I was looking at how um, older adults were recovering from surgery. I am very interested in the role of nutrition and how that promotes healing uh, in, in older adults, especially after an injury. So I started my research looking at changes in nutritional status in older adults before and after surgery uh, and actually showed that older adults, if they lose weight and lose muscle mass, that can impact their recovery in those first six weeks uh, when they are discharged home. I'm very much involved in is aging research at Drexel and in CNHP. Um, we, uh, Laura Gitlin, our former dean, has the Age Health Laboratory, which is more of an outward facing, um, aging focus, trying to build, bring in community organizations and partner with them around aging. Uh, several years ago, we were, were awarded uh, a DARE, Drexel Area of Research Excellence in Aging Research, um, and we called our DARE Cell to Society Aging Research Network. So with that, we bring together four, about 40 faculty across Drexel interested in aging research um, from the cell up to the policy level. And we're interested in preventing and managing chronic conditions, enabling active and purposeful living, and enhancing aging in place. So uh, a lot of the projects that I help support, uh, either as a mentor, a mentor to junior faculty or, or um, students, focuses on aging and, and part of the cell to society work. There's a lot of ways undergraduate students uh, can get involved with research. So the first way that nursing students can get involved in research is sign up for the STAR Scholar Program. So at Drexel, undergraduate students uh, are busy on their co-ops and the only summer that they have off is that summer between freshman and sophomore year. And the honors College, the Pannoni Honors College, has an Office of Undergraduate Research, and they run the STAR Scholar Program. It's students at tackling advanced research. So what this program is, students can sign up, um, and they, if they're accepted into the program, they can work with a faculty mentor over the summer for 10 weeks. It's the only summer that they're off. They get free housing and they get a small stipend. Uh, and they get to work with a faculty member on research. They get paired up, they pick the faculty, the project they want to work on, and at the end of the summer, they get to put uh, a poster presentation together and, and deliver that poster presentation. So I think that's one of the first ways that students can get involved in undergraduate research. Um, we also offer a lot of research co-ops in the college, faculty that are doing research, and if one of your co-op experiences you want to learn how to be a research assistant or learn the ropes with research with data collection, that could be one way. Uh, and also, sometimes there's various work study positions available in the college where you're working with faculty in a lab setting um, to help move some uh, research and scholarship along. I think the most important thing when looking for a doctoral program that's focused on research is to focus on the faculty mentor. You, you really need to think about matching your interests with the interests of the faculty. Because if you're interested, for instance, here in, nurse, in nursing, in our PhD program, all of the faculty are, are very much interested in aging or adults. So if you're really interested in neonatal nursing or taking care of preemies or small babies, um, that, and that's where you want to build the science, we're probably not going to be a good match because most of our work is on the other end of the continuum. So we have a lot of um, great research uh, labs here in CNHP, and I like to think that our research 
uh, extends beyond these walls. You know, we're in this great new building here in the health sciences uh, building. We, on the sixth floor here, we have lots of great space to do meetings um, and to work quietly as you're developing uh, papers and, and things of that nature. But we have some really great labs. We have um, uh, nutrition labs that include a DEXA machine and different types of body composition analyses. We have physical therapy labs that include a gait lab uh, and all different kinds of exercise testing. We also have a music therapy and art lab and dance lab. So you know, these labs have special flooring uh, for people doing dance therapy. Um, we have lots of instruments for people doing music therapy. And we also have a wet lab where uh, we could, uh, if people are doing a little bit of bench research, um, that could be done. We also have a phlebotomy space where we can do blood draws and uh, spin down blood in a centrifuge and we have a minus 80 freezer. So we have a lot of space, a lot of different uh, equipment and gadgets to do research. But more importantly, a lot of nursing research and community-based research occurs out in the community. But most of our work is done either in the home or in the community or in a, in a healthcare setting. I think there's a lot of great opportunities here at Drexel to do research, not just in CNHP, but our faculty in CNHP collaborate with faculty across the university, including biomedical engineering, public health, uh, media, arts and design. So there's a lot of really cool, interesting projects that we're working on together. Uh, and I think that gives us a really good opportunity to learn about team science. Today, it's just not, we can't just focus on our silos. We need to know who we are in our own discipline, but we also need to be able to work collaboratively across settings. And I think research here gives you that great opportunity to do that.